Okay, so I've got another job that I'm using the 3D printer for, and this is a uh, motor oil and gear oil uh, adapter that screws onto the the uh, bottle, and this will open and close so that you can squeeze the oil or transmission fluid or whatever you've got uh, to squeeze into it. And so I went to service my differential today, and this thing was leaking. So this is the adapter that goes on right here. Depending on the bottle that you put this on, you've got a, a small threaded deal for like oil bottles and stuff. Or you can take it off for the bigger ones. Well, the gasket that goes in here, which is right here, was all deformed. So I ended up having to take this gasket out and just screw those two pieces together as tight as I could. And it, and it leaked. I, I, got, I was getting the stuff everywhere. So I've decided to use the 3D printer to make a new gasket using this stuff right here. This is uh, a TPU filament. And it's a real rubbery type of material. I don't want to touch it right now because I've got stuff all over my hands. But uh, I just modeled it up real quick in Fusion 360. Literally, it was two circles. Uh, one circle, the diameter of this, was uh, one and a half inches. So the outer circle was one and a half inches. The inner circle was uh, 1.09 inches. And then I just extruded it 65 thousandths, which is how thick this is. And I'm going to print out a, uh, a new gasket. And I'll come back whenever that's done, and we'll fit it together, and we'll see how it's going to work. Oh, I looked up the chemical resistance to TPU, and pretty much every oil is rated good. Uh, TPU is rated good for just about any oil that you subject it to. Mineral oil, vegetable oil. Uh, it didn't have motor oil in there, but, you know, it's either going to work or it's not. But almost every oil that uh, that, that was on there, it, it was rated good. So we're going to give it a shot. Okay, just to give you an idea of how easy this was. So here's my two circles, outer circle, inner circle. Uh, I'm going to hit E for extrude. Highlight that. And it was... Uh, 65 thousandths thick and that's it that's how quick and easy this literally took me 60 seconds to do so i've got an exact dimension on my uh o-ring slash seal or gasket and uh import that over into uh, the 3d printer software which i've already done so i've got it on the memory stick so i'm going to go out there and get it started and uh we're going to print us off a gasket so just to give you an idea of the usefulness of different materials in a 3D printer. You know, now this is obviously a very easy gasket, but it, it could be a very complex gasket, you know, uh, with many holes around the perimeter, odd shape, whatever. And you could custom make it and print it and have you a gasket for a custom project or whatever you needed, whatever you, you know, was needing. So, you know, that's one of the, cool things that you can do with the 3d printer and tpu is like a rubber material so we're going to see how it prints i've only printed with it uh, two other times and uh, the the you know it came out pretty good so i'm going to see how this comes out okay i'm about to peel the gasket off now this stuff sticks pretty good so let's see what it's going to take to get her off here There it is. Perfect. There's the original.
uh, kind of need both hands to put this together. I did make it just a little bit bigger than the original because I thought the original was maybe just a little bit on the small side. So I don't know if this is going to... Well, that looks like it's going to fit pretty good. And you can see the gasket down in there. Looks like it's gonna, yep, it's gonna sandwich in there just perfect. So anyway, that right there is just another useful thing that a 3D printer can come in handy for. All right, I'm out.